Hi guys, well you join me here, um, I am preparing for the Edge of Red Part 2, the article, um, I am going to be uh, doing that within the next couple of days and posting that, um, here it's just about the demonstration um, and I'm going to be taking various pictures on how I prepare it. So I've got fenugreek powder here, garlic powder, vcon, both incidentally very soluble vcon which is a vegetable stock uh, soya bean and as you can see at the back carries an excellent nutritional profile brilliant the seed itself um, the only thing missing there is a kettle I've just boiled that um, letting that cool down and you will have to excuse the noise in the background I've got the fans running for a bit of bait I've been doing so yes um, now one thing I will say about the red rapeseed at this point is that you must ensure you get this on the bottom. The, the red rapeseed, very, very versatile, but you've got to ensure that this gets on the bottom first and foremost. And you can do that via a spopper or using a bait dropper. There's two ways you can do that. Um, also, in the addition, you must not overfill the bucket. If you overfill that bucket, it will come over the top and be very, very difficult to work with. That is very important. I only probably do a kilo at a time. Um, and the reason for that is because it sustains and takes on a hell of a lot of water. It does swell a little bit bigger than that, but not too much. Uh, and it does take on a hell of a lot of water. Um, you cannot... Um, you cannot um, put too much of that seed into that bucket or any bucket unless you unless for instance you're doing um you've got a 10 litre bucket you're able to do a little bit more but i you the way to work with this uh this idea this method is to simply not overfill the bucket uh, it's the same with maize or anything uh you probably worked with in the past it will uh it will overflow and you will have a problem um and a lot of people have asked also about how you prepare it. The most simplest way of preparing red rapeseed is, it's quite easy. It's just basically tap water um, for 24 hours. So if you cover completely, and that is the reason why I do not use a lot of this seed, is because I would only want it a quarter of this bucket, if that, and I would cover it with water. So much so that 24 hours it would it would sustain all that water and take all that water on um but you're not constantly filling it and filling it and filling it because if 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 say for instance if you are filled this you would have to have to constantly fill the the water level so that it's not drying out um and it's very difficult to keep doing that and doing that and reapplying uh because you would have to keep you know keep an eye on it um but like I say, do it so it's manageable, so it's workable. Fill it once, leave it, you know, and leave that for 24 hours. And you really only got to ensure that this seed has swollen as much as possible. Um, that is all you're looking for in this, in this situation. Um, so yes, I'm going to put this video out in addition to... Um, in addition to the article itself, I'll be going through all the, the various different ways of demonstrating uh, via pictures how I prepare this. So I've got all the all the stuff in front of me, as you can see here, and that's what I'll be doing. Um, I don't think there's anything more to talk about, but like I say, very versatile, and I will explain the versatility in the article. Um, but yeah, I, this way I found the best way, all season round use, fantastic method, uh, fantastic way of preparing it. Um, and you can do this yourself. You can also do the garlic uh, thing that, has, uh, uh, that I explained a few months ago via using ant seed. But you can also do that with red rape seed. Um, not so good, but it's, it definitely still works. Um, I believe that, that garlic trick works better in autumn around about september october time any other time it's not so good but like i said i, I explained um in the article a few a few days ago about using things that are good at certain times of the year but not so good in others and 
this is the most consistent way of using hemp seed, uh, using red rape seed. Um, I found for season use. Um, and again, it, it applies to many, many different things you can do in various different ways using pellets. Uh, and I will go through that at some point. Uh, aminos um, work at certain times of the year, etc. But to, 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 to answer all those questions and to simply go through them all about explaining about free aminos, amino acids, what type of aminos, um, what works best at certain times of the year would be just a book in itself. Uh, I simply couldn't go through it all in one go. But really, just, just, just this is really just a video just to show you uh, what I'll be using and maybe answer a couple of the questions that you maybe have um, before the article becomes live which will be in a couple of days like I've explained um, also um, in case I forget you can buy red rapeseed from junglegold.com not difficult to uh, obtain um, and I think they do various deals on 5, 10, 15, 20 kilos so you can buy it from there not difficult really despite what I've heard um, and again garlic powder um, you can obtain that from many Asian supermarkets then you greet the same you must ensure you get the powdered version the ground down version not the seeds vcon you can get that from amazon but you don't have to use vcon you could use marmite uh, there's various different ones i think little do their own brand and so do aldi like a yeast extract um but it, it like i say i use a vegetable stock I use uh, something that carries a hell of a lot of free amino acids, high protein content, etc. Vcon one of the best. There's also Atro Mitso that you can use, um, which is another Asian type um, stock. Uh, I think it's more pasty that one. Uh, so again, it's a bit. Uh, uh, you have to get simply with all these stocks. You have to use some kind of water, warm water to get them. Uh, soluble to get them um, taking up taking the water on etc and, and that's what you know again marmite's the same you, if you if you start using uh, warm water with marmite you can get it to a point where it's quite um, you know quite usable and for this situation it's very important and I'll explain why in the article but yes uh, Vcon I use a lot of um, very very good um, at show again very very good um, and you can use like I say Marmite uh, you can use their own brand yeast extracts from Aldi or Lidl um, I don't think there's another one or oh, Oxo Oxo cubes and maybe you can use that uh, again with water um, so there's various different ways you can uh, use this I'm, for this for this purpose I'm using Vcon like I said one of the best um, but yeah hope you enjoyed the article I will probably be doing a couple of more of these um, and maybe explain go through the whole process of um, I don't know d different different methods different tactics and um, different preparations for different baits that will will apply to 3FT um, but some won't so we'll go through maybe some of those during this lockdown period which isn't uh, which isn't great, but, you know, we'll get through it in the end, hopefully. Okay, so I'll talk to you soon, and uh, stay safe.